Hi guys, how are you today? Uh, today is Saturday, I am traveling uh, again a little bit uh, here in Germany and I'm in a small town called uh, Munster. It's a really nice town. As you can see behind me is a nice uh, waterfall. Uh, what I want to talk today about is uh, about the blogging. I recently have posted a couple of uh, blog posts on my Empower Network blog. You can check it out. It's quite uh, informative about uh, blogging and you know some stuff connected to blogging like uh, what you need to to set to have uh, set up before you start blogging uh, maybe something about the topic of blogging and uh, uh, you know the structure of your blog post uh, because you know if you want if you are really into blogging and you want to attract uh, more uh, leads maybe more readers to your blog you really need to think about this like uh, you need to you know focus on uh, topic of your blog post you need to focus on keywords of your blog post these are the words that people are looking for uh, online that when they are looking for information they put search uh, certain keywords into Google search engine so that Google uh, search engine will give them you know websites that uh, actually uh, are about the information readers are looking about so or searchers people who search for for uh, information whatever um, the next step would be you know um, once you know what to what you want to write about and you know your keywords uh, headline headline is very important because headline attracts people to to your art article so uh, choosing wisely the headline may increase the your readership next thing would be of course the body the content of the of your blog post people start reading your blog post and maybe some of them just go through it very quickly and don't really need it uh, really they just uh, you know see a couple of bolded words they stay there stay they stay here read one sentence two sentences so it's really important to kind of suck them into your blog post so that they enjoy reading it so uh, if you can make your blog post popular that that's very good actually of course of course you know that but uh I just want to stress stress it uh, for you. And the last thing, maybe, you know, just inform them about uh, uh, call of action. At the, at the end of your blog post, you should always give them something to do. If you want them something to do, like, you know, if you promote your, um, uh, let's say, empower network products, empower network blogging system, uh, you can, you know, give at the end of your blog post or um, call call of action uh, kind of you know join this blogging system because this and that you know you just have your own idea what to what to write about how to attract people to click on on the link to opt in to to you know uh, sales page video let's say you know, what, what, wherever you want to send people to, just tell them to go there. If you don't tell them to go somewhere, to do something, they will not do it. They don't have time. They have maybe one minute to re read your blog post, sometimes only 30 seconds, sometimes only 10 seconds, you know. So you have to catch their attention in a very short time. So just be aware of that. If you're interested into some of my tips, uh, go to my blog post. Uh, the link is below this video and uh, that's all for for now I'll be back soon with another tips and have a great day and have a great end of the summer if you are in Europe Ciao ciao